Can you feel it? Hi, right, buddy. We live, baby. Good morning. Sack passing. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? Madam Town. In the Melix. Welcome to the Missy Channel. Guys, listen, if you're not above the IBC gang, click on that subscribe button below and join us in the Port Squad. Oh, God. So, now we've got, uh, he's not a guest on the podcast. He's no, not. He's back. Because we did a check. We did, we did uh, um, Gooba. Gooba. Is it Gooba? Yeah. Okay, by him. So, then we got 6ix9ine Bori featuring Lanier or Lanier. That looks French to me, so I, you probably say Lanier, but I'm wishing I had Lanier. Uh, official music video. Let's do what we do the best guys not in this video. Let's get it popping. Let's get it. Oh, this is different. Oh, bro, I, is he back home? No, they say he was like visiting another country. Because he's from where? Where is he from? He's, a, he's from a, um, a Latin American country, isn't that? Or is he from Mexico? He's from Mexico. Okay. That's going to be so, oh, that's so I, dope. I don't know what country... I, I don't know what country that. Is. Okay, okay. I don't know if it's Mexico or. Bro, oh the freedom. Bro, that brings us back to home. I know when the you just freedom, jump bro. In. Oh my god. This one. Quiero confesarme. I'm so. Confesar mi pecado. Oh. Quiero contarle mi historia. Que a nadie se la he contado. Cuando tenía siete años. Bro, oh, dead ass that. didn't realize that. I was like, yes. I, I was in like, my mind, I'm not understanding what's going on. In my mind, I speak perfect Spanish, bro. I was putting in work. Oh. I was, bro. My, hey, buenos dias. Uh, bienvenidos en el canal de Amici. Mi nombre es Alex. Y mi hermano Allen. Bro, I gotta hola, stop. Hola. I gotta stop. Hola. What's good? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Where is this? Yo, uh, yo tengo, uh, yo soy guapo. Um, <laughs> tengo la camisa negra. Hey. Cool. Yeah, okay. All right. When I save it, I'll go back here. Hey, yo, DJ. <laughs> Running back turbo. Bro, this is like a whole another side of six nine. Yes. Yeah. Cause everybody's so used to it just being like the the beats, and then he just yeah. like goes on it. But like but now I, you're seeing him internally. I feel like he had to go through what he had to go through in order to be able to. Like I think it, this kind of reminds me of like a lot of like like comedians. Uh -huh. A lot of times, like you get comedians that start whenever they they do like stand up, they're not doing anything personal. They're just doing things that that that, that fit catches. that just catches. Yes. And then, as in order for them to go to the next step, the next level, they now have to tell personal stories about themselves. I think I read about that from like Kevin Hart when he was getting into stand up. Like he was just saying like like the low the the short person when it was like benching and stuff like that. And uh -huh. the guy was like, "That's not personal. You're just telling your story. That's not true. Tell tr the truth about your life." And now you're getting this version now, but it's but is it like, is it because like people don't want the story? They just want like what clicks. Yeah, but I think it's the same thing with us as far as our channel, mm -hmm. right? People don't really care about anything about you. They just want to get what you have to give available. Until now, we can drop whatever we want to drop, and people will respond to it now because we've established that pat that pattern of consistency over time. Yes. So now six times here, he's able to actually tell the stories. About his life mm -hmm. to give you a bit of a perspective of who he is. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Sufrir me tocó a mí en esta vida. Come on. Llorar cuando ni lágrimas tenía. Pero siempre supe que mi suerte llegaría. El chamaquito del barrio. La leyenda viva. Cuando no vi a Pampa desayuno. Ooh, 
Los que ayer no me miraban Ahora me tiran lo mismo que me ignoraba. Antes perdía, nunca ganaba Y ahora en este juego soy la ficha que faltaba Pero mi padre a mí me cuida desde arriba Y por el buen camino él me guía Y yo solo le pido que me dé salud Y bendición para mi familia God damn, bro. Ahora tengo gente que me odia. Ahora tengo gente que me quiere. Dicen que los hombres como yo no se olvidan ni se mueren. Sufrir me tocó a mí en esta vida. Llorar cuando ni lágrimas tenía Pero siempre supe Que mi suerte ya haría El chamatito del barrio La leyenda viva Oh, no, it's not done yet, is it? Oh, God damn, bro, we here for this <laughs> Yeah Wow, we here for this Okay, guys, listen. That was 6ix9ine Body featuring Lanier or Lanier official music video. I am so excited to see this next transition of where 6ix9ine wants to go. And I was the entire time he was wa I was watching this music video, uh -huh. I was only thinking of one person was Mansa Musa. Because if you know based on like history, when he would go on, on trips to like Europe and stuff like that, like Spain, all that stuff, he would like almost like bankrupt people's like systems. Because he would go give so much gold away mm -hmm. that like the like just give gold to the poor people, just all around, and so like it would essentially almost crumble the yes. the system of like the financial system because now everyone had so much gold because they he, they have so much gold coming from the regions of Africa. Yeah, when you go on the like trips, right, and like seeing him go through, and you know we're from a different country, we're from Haiti, yes. and like one U.S. dollar is thirty dollars back home, mm -hmm. right. So I don't know what it is in that country that he was in, but like he's giving hundred dollar bills to people. To some people here, because the dollar is, is worth nothing in the United States. Of course. But outside of the United States, it's worth so much. So to some people that, that seeing this that are from the United States, they might be like, oh, it's only hundred dollars. How long is that gonna last? No. You don't understand the level of an impact. No. Just one music video he did potentially did for so many hundreds of people here. So to me, like seeing him do something like this, um. I got more, you know, essentially, like, out of this, like, internally than I did watching the, the Drake one. The six, uh, the God's point. It was that God's point. Whichever one he did. Oh, the one that was here. I felt like this was more genuine than anything else. Because Man, it, wasn't, it wasn't, like, catered. Like, he, he didn't give a crap. He was like this. You're going to see how the country is. Yeah. Without it being like, oh, this is the nice part. We're going to film out the nice part. Yeah. He's showing you everywhere. And that's, like, like what he did. Is how I feel for us whenever we get the chance to go home. Yep. Like giving back. To, yeah. To like the community. Because that's all that like having money is not going to always make you happy. What makes me happy. What makes us happy. Yep. Is being able to pass it like give it back forward. Well, I think it's like the motto of the channel, right? It's always been it's not about the views, it's not about the subscribers, but about the people that we can make an impact on. Yep. The subscribers and the views just come based on the fact that we stay consistent in what we do. But if we focus so much on the subscribers and the views, then we lose the... Then it's like you're losing the incredibility of why we started the channel in the first place. Mm -hmm. The whole purpose of the channel was essentially to create a thing that was generate enough income so whenever we go back home, we go, we go on trips and we're home, we can just do things with four people and with people versus look how many views I got. I could care less. Cool. But then the people that actually go, okay, whoa, let me subscribe to the channel. You guys are greatly appreciated. Then they put out going to Patreon. You guys make a massive impact. You don't understand the level of impact you make, but you make a big impact. Right. So to me, seeing this music video and then the vocals and, and just kind of like the story. I like stories. Yes. Tell me your story. Let me see the story because people care more about the story that attaches to things versus anything else. So overall, man, for, for, yeah. phenomenal. I'm here for this. Yes, you are. Uh, guys, listen. As usual, we always say we love you guys. We appreciate we you to the fullest. If you're not a part of the MC gang, please click, click on that subscribe button below and join us to be part of the squad and at all times. Don't cheat yourself. Love thyself. And keep it MC. Peace. Peace.
I'm 